it is a it, it's a challenging situation because the Fed was so behind the ball in 2021. It's a challenging situation because the Biden administration dumped so much stimulus into the economy and, and pushed demand so hard in 2021 that now we're in a situation where the Fed has to tighten into a slowdown, which kind of scrambles the way we normally uh, think about monetary policy. What can the administration do? One thing the administration can do is pick some of the low-hanging fruit that would shave a few tenths of a point off of inflation to try and make the Fed's job a little easier. The administration could get rid of the Trump administration's tariffs on Chinese imports. That would reduce inflation. The administration could restart student loan payments, which would have some effect on, on kind of cooling consumer demand, pulling some of that money out of the economy. Uh, both of those actions would reduce inflation. I think a criticism is, you know, maybe, you know, three-tenths of a point here, one-tenth of a point there. But if you do a few of those things, all of a sudden you're reducing inflation by yep. half a percentage point, seven-tenths of a percentage point. That makes the Fed's job easier. And I think that's, that's, some, that's, that's a good place for the administration to look. Hey, Austin, I know I can ask you anything. That's, that's why I'm going to, to ask this next question, because, you know, we go back so long. So we used to have... Oh, boy. We used to have, like, Republicans. That they'd be... Trump would, would have... Just, President Trump would have just said something. And they're, like, thinking, I don't want to go on TV. I do not want to be asked about what this guy just said. And, and I could see that. Are you in a similar uh, type position right now, Austin, when you see some of those economic tweets from President Biden being a trained economist at the University of Chicago, and you see, you know, that, that all this inflation is from profiteering and that the oil companies are controlling the price of oil. Do you think I'm not going on TV because I cannot defend this lunacy? Do you ever feel that way? I thought I just wasn't being invited by you anymore. You were mad at me or something. Don't change the subject. When you hear that, <laughs> seriously, Look, when you see, I've, I mean, with, that, you saw the journal yesterday. I mean, when Bidenomics, I, when I disagree Bidenomics with the administration, is nowhere is that taught anywhere in the universe. You, you know that I will tell it like it is, and when okay, the administration so says it. things I disagree with, I will well, say you must be I'm not on board. Lot, then, because they're saying yeah. crazy stuff. He says crazy stuff. Does he not? Some of his stuff is not, are not, not what I would say. Definitely, though. On some of these, like in the, in this little tweet storm that Jeff Bezos declared with him, I think what he was observing was this weird dynamic that the price of oil and the price of gasoline, which normally move pretty closely together, have diverged, where the price of oil started coming down, but the price of gasoline hasn't come down. Uh, and is, he's expressing frustration with that. But do you get calls, Austin? You, uh, you could do wonders in, in this White House right now. Who do you think is coming up with some of this stuff? Do you, do you, do you talk to, to people there still? I talk to people there. I think, you know, we're going into the midterm, so we're in the dynamic. And you, you saw this in the Trump administration. You saw it with right. Obama. You saw it with Bush before that. As you go into the midterm, and especially when there's big tectonic forces moving around in the economy that are not popular, like, you know, big inflation and stuff like uh, that, sorry. and there's not a whole lot you can do in the short run. So I, I kind of think that uh, that on both sides, you're going to see a little more, let's call it show voting. They're going to try to put yeah. up votes to make the other side look unpopular. There's, I understand, and, and populist, populism, we got a, uh, you know, we're infected on both sides by, by the things. And, Michael, that, that makes people say things for, for effect rather than, than to back it up uh, with fact. But I, Michael, do, do you ever get irritated that, that we hear that capitalism itself is the problem because you're trying to earn profits and we should all be not for profit and whatever our input costs are, just don't add anything on to that and, you know, just try to sell it at cost so that there's no inflation. That, that's never going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I think attacking companies and accusing them of profiteering, I think trying to use the bully pulpit, you know, demanding that private sector companies lower their prices, this is, this is stuff that we saw from President Trump. It's disappointing to see it from President Biden. I don't think that it, that it sells. You know, the, the, the American people see prices going up everywhere. When they go into the grocery store to buy food, they see really large increases in the price of, of staples that they need to feed their families. Yelling and screaming at, 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 at gasoline companies, uh, at, I, I think, is not 
is not a, a, an effective way to address the problem or even or even to sell that the administration is doing things. The administration should be should be trying to do things.